this tutorial is about how to use asymmetric v-folds to raise a structure on one side of the page. The first example I've got is Mummy by Matthew Reinhardt, illustrated by Maurice Sendak. And the final amazing spread, on the right you've got this flap. This is the structure, the sculpture being made. This is the gully down here and this is the sculpture being raised on one side of it. And these two little pieces here, these are the asymmetric v-folds that lift the whole thing. And really delightful piece of work that, the way the head moves, the arms move. I can tell you which previous tutorials lead up to this. Tutorial four is asymmetric v-folds. Tutorial five is parallelograms, which it's built onto. Tutorial 15 is moving arms. And tutorial 24 is circular movement. So those are all used to make that, that mechanism. And the other one I'd like to show you is this one, very different. This is Pop-Up Book of Nursery Rhymes. Again, it's by Matthew Reinhardt. This is the spread. So in this case, this is the structure that's being raised on the one side of this crease here. And the asymmetric V-fold is actually hidden underneath this floating plane. So here you can see this is the floating plane. This is the asymmetric V-fold which is being used to raise this structure. If you look at this structure end on, you can see it's all parallelograms, all being raised by one plane, which is lifted by the asymmetric V-fold. So now I'll just run through some angles for the asymmetric V-fold. Here are a couple of examples. In this one, this small angle is 30 degrees, and this is 90 degrees. And on the page, the angle between the spine and where it sticks down, that's 30. And the angle between the spine and where it sticks down here, that's 90. When the whole thing is flat, the whole thing will lie flat. And as you can see, as it closes like this, the whole thing moves forward. So you can build parallelograms onto this flap here. In this version, the angle on the base is still 30, but the small angle on the asymmetric V-fold is 35. And the angle on the base is 90, and the angle on the asymmetric V-fold is 95. So I've made one of those here. Here's the piece. You've got the big angle on the asymmetric piece is 95 and the small angle on it is 40 degrees. On the base, you've got 90 and 35. So I'll just stick that down so you can see how it goes. With all these asymmetrics, you have a, the small angle on the pop-up goes over the big angle on the page, the big angle on the pop-up goes over the small angle on the page. So it's going to stick down like that. I'll just glue this and stick it on. As I've measured the positions on the base and on the pop-up, I can just do it all rather than sticking down one side and letting it find its natural position. Stick that down there. And that down there. There it is. Close it down. I've left this flap on the top just so you can build parallelograms onto it. And that's it really. A useful tip for building things on one side of the base. 